I'm Tim Isaacs. I'm the principal here at Central Harden High School. We're getting ready to start another year. Um, we've added uh, a few teachers of roles. We had a couple retire. Excited to have Miss Angie Gom starting in chemistry. It's been a while since we've had a new chemistry teacher, and we've always been blessed to have wonderful ones. And I think she's going to continue on with the tradition. Um, matter of fact, got three new science teachers. Got a couple. Um, uh, alumni home, Cody Elmore, who's new in science, is uh, alumni coming home. Uh, Kim Gibson is new in the science department upstairs. Paige uh, Wilson, also an alumni in the English department, she'd be with us. Uh, Alex Valls, alumni in social studies. So um, excited about new bodies that are with us. Uh, always happy to have the outstanding faculty I have. We've got good kids. Enrollment's looking uh, uh, strong as usual. So we're always uh, Glad to see kids who want to be here and be a part of Central Arden. Chris Adams, I'm the senior counselor here at Central Harden. We're doing open house tonight where all of our seniors are picking up their schedules. For the seniors this year, they just need to make sure they get all their credits in line so they're on track to graduate. We also have a financial aid night coming up next week that we'd invite all the seniors to on to and their parents on Tuesday night at 6 o'clock here at Central Harden. That's that first Tuesday of the first full week. And just stay in touch. Anything on as far as college questions, financial aid, scholarships, and all that, please make sure you stay in touch with your counselors on that. A little bit of this right here. Uh, my name is Scott Bryant, and I'm selling shirts for the lady basketball team. Hello, my name is Sylvester Cole, and we're getting the schedules for the kids to ride the buses to and from. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Mandy Sanders, and I work in the Youth Services Center here at Central Harden High School. Um, the coordinator in the Youth Services Center is Carol Brangers. We are here to help, um, help, help your kids in any way that they may need help with uh, school supplies, um, they need, just need help with this, any type of assistance that keeps them from learning. And it, uh, if you need anything, you can call the main office here at Central Harden High School and just ask for Carol Bringers or Mandy Sanders in the Youth Services Center. Thank you. I'm Anna. I am a senior at here at Central. I'm also the state beta club secretary. Um, so I ran for state office at this past year's convention and won. So I'm a state officer, state representative. And so tonight we're just promoting the beta club, um, trying to promote membership. Uh, every state is trying to increase membership by 10% this year. And so we're really hoping that we can increase our membership um, in our school and at our state level and just boost Beta Club. What's the best, play, best way for people to learn more about the Beta Club? Um, I think getting involved is probably the best way to learn more about it. I, um, going into Beta Club, didn't really know what it was and didn't realize that it had more emphasis on service than it did on um, academics and uh, achievement. So it's just really awesome to get involved and be able to serve your community and your school. Best club. My name is Bradley Mattingly. I'm with the Y Club. We're just trying to get people to sign up, and uh, it's a really good club to learn about the government. A good way to get involved is text at 2018 Y Club to 81010. Hi, I'm Michelle Noel Bolden. I'm with Communicare, and we do school based therapy here. And so the best number to get a hold of us to set up a new appointment or ask any questions is 1 888 Hi, my name is Bailey Childress. I'm with the Central Harden Art Club, and we are getting people to sign up for Art Club, which is a club that people can do to do things in the community, art in the community, and things in that order. We meet monthly, and it's a very fun club to do, and we hope that people sign up. I'm director of recruitment at ECTC. I'm here today um, giving information about dual credit uh, for all of you juniors and seniors and even some sophomores. And then for all of our seniors interested in coming to ECTC next year, we also have information about that. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 270 
706-8800. Hi, my name is Sarah Furness. I'm a counselor with the Educational Opportunity Center at ECTC. We're a grant-based program and our whole mission is to increase the number of people that enroll into college. So anything to help get you there, uh, looking at colleges, choosing a major, completing the FAFSA, we can help you with. You can give us a call at 270-706-8800. Hi, my name is Linda Lowe. I'm the Child Nutrition Manager for Central Hardin High School. This year we have a new and exciting line called the International Line. It is a line that changes every day of the week. We're going to have Low Main this year as well as Euros. The prices for the lunches have not changed. It is still $2.70 for a full-time student, $0.40 cents for reduced lunch, and of course we also offer the free lunches if you qualify. We also have a breakfast that is free to all students and you can go to the main child nutrition page and get a free and reduced lunch form to fill out and that will automatically go to our office to see if you're approved for that. Also you can go to My Meal Pay Plus, create an account and with that account, you can check your child's foods that they eat daily and also check to see what their balances are on their accounts. Thank you, and we enjoy what we do, and we're proud to see you and can't wait to see you this year. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dewina Nance Pittman with Mod Squad. Uh, Mod Squad is a teen outreach for teens by teens, and we provide free mentoring and tutoring to elementary, middle school, and high school students. Right now, we're looking for mentors and tutors, and we're also having a free fall camp, and we're looking for applicants for the camp. You can reach us at 270-319-8079 or 270-317-40. Hello, I'm Spencer Yates. I'm with uh, Vex Robotics here at Central. Pretty much what we do, we just uh, compete, build robots, compete in tournaments, and uh, try and win as much as we can. We've been pretty successful for the past years. And to find out more, just go August 28th uh, to EC3 after school, and that'll be our first meeting. I'm Andy Perry. I'm going to be heading up the Central Harden Bass Fishing Club this year. I'm a brand new club, first year. Um, bass fishing's uh, not really new to high school. It's new to this area. Uh, we are, are part of the KSAA. Um, basically what it does is not only do they teach the, the, the kids how to fish, um, they get to compete in tournaments. Uh, also, um, we'll be teaching about careers that's available in the fish and wildlife field. Um, talk about uh, fish conservation, uh, water conservation, um, and um, academics and, and things like that. Um, it's, a, it's a really good sport, it's a really good program. Um, we'll run, the tournaments actually run uh, year round, one or two a month. Um, there's a regional tournament, the state tournament available. Um, they've got chances to fish um, um, in Kentucky. If they do well enough, they can actually travel to um, another state to compete in uh, the Student Angler Federation's National and World Tournament. Um, it's a great thing. Uh, we're really excited uh, to be able to have it here at Central. And uh, just ask everybody that can come out and uh, get some information and let's go fishing. Hello, uh, I'm Coach Phil Kaiser, the Central Hardin Rustling Coach, and with me is my team mom, Dawn O'Donnell. We're here tonight at the uh, school open house. Um, passing out all the admin paperwork for our team. I uh, have to complete all that so uh, we can get started as quickly as school begins. Hope to start our season next week. Traditionally, we have about 45 uh, wrestlers with the program, and I'm hoping to do about the same this year. Uh, season will actually start on the 15th of October and run through about the middle of February. Uh, I'm Gage Powers, and uh, I play lacrosse here at Central Hardin High School. And uh, so lacrosse is a new sport around here, so like a lot of people haven't played it, especially in uh, Kentucky, but E-Town especially. And so us, E-Town, Fort Knox, and North all have a team, and uh, it's new around here. But if you want to come join out, uh, talk to Officer Robinson at Central, and uh, he'll tell you everything about it and how to join, and that's all. Tony Wiley and I'm with Kia, Kentucky Higher Education Assistance Authority. 
K-H-E-A-A.com. And we do the keys money, the money students get for good grades while they're in high school. Also this year we have some other grants that students can take advantage of. They are the dual credit scholarship they can get either as a junior or a senior, or the work ready scholarship they can get for area technology type classes or at the community college and they're broken down here. So even ninth and 10th graders can take advantage of that. You didn't know you were going to get all that good information, did you? No. I'm Ryan Gettler. I'm the Central Harden's I'm Central Harden's cross country captain, and uh, cross country guys, it is by far the best experience ever in my high school career. You meet so many incredible people. You make such incredible friends. Honestly, lifelong friends, and it's just. When, if you, no matter what uh, grade you are, I don't care if you're sixth grade or, se or a senior in high school, you are welcome. Seriously, it's, uh, you are welcome. You become part of the family ASAP. My name is Jackson Flanagan. I'm a senior and I'm representing Pep Club. Uh, basically what Pep Club is, it's a good way to network with other students and to plan like pep rallies, football game themes, and it's a good way to just work together and become a better teammate and leader. So, so how can people get involved? Uh, well, they can simply just come here and sign up, pay $15, uh, give their t-shirt size, or they can talk to Miss Blair and get more information from her. So it's a really simple process. I'm Marissa Mormon. I'm with NECO. We are a foster care and behavioral health agency. Um, our phone number is 270-505-4183. So what is, what is the service that you offer? Um, we provide therapeutic foster care, so uh, we recruit foster parents to be, um, provide care to those foster youth coming into care as well as we do outpatient um, therapy for youth, uh, counseling services. Hi, good evening. I'm Natalie Reed. I'm the school nurse, Central Harden High School, and this is our program that will be starting January the 2nd, Healthy Kids Clinic. This will be our new um, company called Healthy Kids Club out of Russell Springs, K Kentucky. And if the nurse sees fit that the child uh, could see a nurse practitioner, that uh, child will be able to see the nurse practitioner at the school. We will contact the parent uh, for approval and then we will call the nurse practitioner and they will come to our school. If you need any more information on this new program that's starting, please call Janae Sutton at Hardin County Schools. Thanks. My name is Janelle Williams. I'm an educator with Silverleaf. We are a local nonprofit based out of Elizabethtown, and we provide a number of free services to anyone who's been impacted by sexual violence in any kind. We also come into the schools, and specifically here at Central, we talk to the teenagers about kind of what to look out for and how to keep themselves and their friends safe. My name is Sergeant First Class Copus. I'm sitting here today at Central Hardin High School talking with students about the great opportunities in the Army Reserve. Uh, you can reach me at 502-257-1005. Uh, come on out, there's a lot of great booths out here and I think you would really enjoy your time. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to come out and talk to us. Hi, I'm Cameron Abara. I'm the secretary with the Central Hardin Football Boosters. We are selling t-shirts, lanyards, car stickers. We've also got stadium seating for $25 with a parking pass. Uh, come out and support the Football Boosters. We are looking forward to seeing everyone. Hi, I'm Zoe McCarthy. Uh, I go to Central Hardin High School. I've been doing drama club for four years. Uh, tonight, we are doing sign-ups for our play here in town. Uh, I mean our musical, our play, The Crucible, sign up for our drama club, which we are going to go see The Curious Incident of the Dog Into the Night, a really good play. Um, if you guys want to join, uh, contact somebody, uh, Miss Dakin, who is our teacher, or one of us, uh, we will be happy to help you guys in any way we can. You should join because theater is amazing. We make memories, we make friends, we make connections that we can't make in any other group. Hi, it's John Thomas, uh, Curriculum and Instruction. Uh, ISD Department, Hardin County Schools, and I'm here at Central Hardin. We've got a great turnout for open house here, going around greeting the new teachers as well as our, our veterans. Uh, really wonderful turnout. Uh, kids are looking forward to the school year, got great comments, they're getting their schedules, they're excited about meeting their new teachers, and really looking forward to the 2018-19 school year, focusing on every student growing, learning, uh, 
uh, as well as the adults, teachers and uh, central office personnel as well. So we're all in the process of learning and really glad to be a part of the Central Harden Open House. Uh, my name's Melissa Gaddy, and we're fitting uniform for the band members, new marchers and existing. Hello, my name is David Centers. I'm the band director at Central Harden High School. Um, the Central Harden band program uh, has been just uh, seen phenomenal growth. Uh, from last year to this year, our marching band had about a 30-member uh, growth. Uh, we've seen lots of growth. Uh, I came here in 2004, we had about 52 students, and this year uh, we have, um, in the marching band, over 140, and in the whole band program, over 160, almost 170 students. So we've seen a lot of growth, uh, and that's phenomenal. It's great to see students getting involved in the performing arts, uh, and our performing arts here at Central Harden are fantastic. Our choir, our band, our art program, uh, everything's just going great. Uh, we love students to be involved in band, but also involved in other activities, so we work with students. Uh, none of the band activities are required for students, such as if you want to be in band class, you don't have to do marching band. Um, if you wanted to be in marching band and we're trying, you know, need to figure out how to get you in band class, things like that, we, we work with you and, and figure those things out. Uh, we just want students to find a way to be involved uh, because we're the largest school in the, in the county um, and I really believe that students need to be involved in an organization. Uh, for me, I hope that's uh, band. I hope students want to be involved in band. Uh, we have a lot of opportunities in band, not just marching band. We have a wind ensemble class, symphonic band, concert band, percussion ensemble class. Uh, we have a jazz band that meets after school, pet band that plays at uh, basketball games, and probably about 20 small ensembles for clarinet and trombone and flute, and you name it, we've got it. We just want students to be involved. A great way to find out about the Central Hard Band is on our website centralhardenband.org. Lots of information on there. You can get in contact with me uh, through an email on there. And uh, we just, if you have a question, let me know. I'll be willing to help you out.